experiment, you need to tell me in 45 seconds. No, it's an injustice. It's an insult to a scientist. You cannot do it. You tell it, sir, it's targeted to the normal people, sir. Please remember that you are not giving a lecture to your students. It's for the common people. And sir, since my story time is around two minutes, you can understand that how long I can uh, have your own body in a different way. But even then, you will speak for three to four minutes. And you need to pick and choose this 45 seconds, which is of prime importance. Now, you have to take care. And then, if in one go, he has not uttered what you want him to utter, there are certain things which you will put in your script as a voiceover. But there are certain things on the basis of authenticity, which you should not take. If the third world war takes place, the noise will be on Waterloo. Water is another idea. If you go to the, I mean, I don't know how far does it come to the science journalism. It's an enormous material, especially on any. Can you give a two point five world war in a week or what? Yes, sir. <laughs> so now you must understand which are the areas to be left. To you to say it in voiceover, or which are the areas which you will ask the scientist to speak because the question of authenticity. If it is of some medical importance, definitely I will prefer that the hardcore medical element must be communicated by a medical practitioner, professional doctor in his sound bite. So the explanation part of it, I can immediately do it. I'll call you later, sorry. So that is something you have to choose. And even if he has not spoken what you want him to speak, because he has to take the responsibility. If the director of National Chemical Laboratory speaks, so he speaks it with his responsibility. Sorry. 